Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Scott Solo from the Sarlacc Digest coming at you live from my studio with all my stuff everywhere. And uh, I don't normally do this, so I figured I would give it a shot and uh, see how it goes. If it goes good, I'll put it on YouTube. If it doesn't do, yeah, if it doesn't like that, if it doesn't do good, then I'll get rid of it. So uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to uh, review a couple of the new figures that came out just this week. Um, I have got this beauty here. It is the brand new Stormtrooper. Uh, he's pretty freaking cool. And it's said that he is uh, of the new sculpt, whatever the new sculpt might be. I actually don't have a loose uh, original Stormtrooper Black Series figure uh, anymore. Got rid of him while back because I heard this beauty was coming. So, hey, look, we've got a new Stormtrooper. So, new Stormtrooper review coming. Also, uh, this little guy right here. Uh, yeah, look at this. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Uh, you can see the reflection of my stuff here, so I don't know how good it's going to be, but I have the uh, Beskar armor Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, so look at that artwork. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, uh, what does it say about him? Uh, his body is shielded by Beskar armor. His face is hidden behind a T-visored mask, and his past is wrapped in mystery. No one is quite sure who this well-equipped stranger is. Din Djarin, maybe? I don't know, just going out on a limb. Uh, what does it say about the Stormtrooper in the back of this one? Stormtroopers are the elite shock troops. I think in order to be elite, you really got to be able to hit something. Fanatically loyal to the Empire and impossible to sway from their Imperial cause. Unless you're Finn, Janna, and, well, no, that wasn't Imperial. Maybe they're more, I don't know, maybe the Imperial Stormtroopers are a little more loyal. Anyway, uh, where was I? <clears throat> they wear imposing white armor, which offers a wide range of survival equipment. Does it, though? Does it really? Because, mm, I don't know, it seems to... It's funny how in the books... It always talks about the fact that in order to kill a stormtrooper, you got to hit them in the joints, in the shoulder joints, and you got to get them in the neck. You got to get them all over that place. But in the movies, it's just like, pew, they're dead. So uh, which one do we want to open first? Mm, nobody's here to ask. So I'm going to take a sip of my coffee and dive right into the stormtrooper. All right. So stormtrooper, handy dandy knife. Let's try not to kill myself with this thing. Um, this is going to give Ernie and Mike Stafford a heart attack. Fanboy. This one's for you, buddy. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and slit that sucker open right there. Oh, nope. Just tore it. I was trying to do this all nice and uh, meticulous, but it looks like I'm just going to have to say screw it and just tear this sucker up. So, yeah. Tried... I tried playing by the rules. I tried playing nice, but ah, tear that off. Get out of here. All right. And uh, give this guy here this is a little silver background. That's cool. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. Is he tied in with anything? He is not tied in with anything. Blaster. It's funny how the blaster has zero paint apps. There are no paint apps, just a black blaster. But in the uh, vintage collection, little three and three quarter inch figures, the uh, Luke Skywalker in the Stormtrooper outfit and the Han Solo in the Stormtrooper outfit have little silver paint apps on their blasters. It's, it's a really cool little feature. But there is, this is kind of neat. Uh, hopefully it focuses in. It might not focus in. There's a little scope. I don't know what that is, honestly. I don't know. Uh, put it over there. There we go. You can see it a little bit better. Back up. I don't know what this guy is. It almost looks like a scope, but the scope is up here on the top. And of course, you got the clip right there, which is really cool. But I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Huh. I never noticed it before, and I call myself a fan. All right, let's get the sucker out of here. Uh, thunk. Ooh, okay. So he's he's digging this. He's he's like got this head swivel, or not really a head swivel, but like a head bob thing going on. Very cool. Is this the one that has that? Nope, the head just came clean up. Well, there is a head in there. Ah, 
if I can get it off it. No, nope, he's just gonna. That's just gonna come off. There's a face in there, and I've heard rumor that the face. I'm looking at me, not you. Uh, the face I heard is just a clean white clone trooper head. You can kind of see it in there. You can see some ears over there and a chin. But anyway, pops right on and off there. So hyper articulated. Love the double jointed elbows. That's so cool. Got this elbow here going. Oh, that's really cool. You can do the splits. You can do a better job of the splits than I can. Uh, excellent jointed knees and stuff, so he can run. Hey, wait for me, guys. I'll make him run like the Flash. So, anyway, that was dumb. Um, so, yeah, he's got excellent paint apps, though. He's got the little teardrops on the sides, which are really cool. The vents right there are painted pretty immaculately. This thing is really well done. Some gray spots on the back right there. I got a couple of these to open, and anybody tells you I'm not really the opening kind of guy. I usually keep my mint in box. Uh, but I did get a couple of stormtroopers, so that is pretty cool. Let's put his blaster in his hand here. I love the fact that the trigger finger actually goes into the trigger hole on the blaster. That's super cool. I know I'm not telling you guys anything new. They usually do that kind of stuff, but I think it looks pretty cool when that happens still. All right, so he is ready to defend the Empire at all costs and to take a blaster bolt for good old Vader. So there we go. Brand new Stormtrooper. Great articulation. I will get that helmet off of his head, unless it's just not meant to come off, which is possible. Let's see. I can get some pliers or something and pry it out. I never open my figures, but when I do, I get super destructive with them, apparently. Yeah, that sucker does not want to come out, so never mind. I'm going to stop looking at myself. I even like the little silver nubs they've got right there at the end of his helmet. That's really well done. So they don't paint the apps on the gun like they do in the three and three quarter inch figures, but they do paint the crap out of the six inch figure. So that is really cool. I'm going to set him aside right there. He's got good balance too. Coffee time. Okay, next we have Mando. It's Mando time. Mando. So I just happened upon a Target the other morning. They were putting this box out. Only reason I'm opening this guy and not keeping him sealed is his box is a little screwed up. So I will be seeking out another one. So let's just, I don't know why I'm bothering because it didn't work out so well last time, but what the heck. See if I can do this without cutting myself. We're completely destroying the package. Not that it matters. It's not going back in the package. I've been waiting for this figure for a long time. There's a lot of really cool details you couldn't see while ordering it, too. So let's go ahead and I'll try and point out those details as best as possible. But, ugh, yep, torn. Ugh. All right. Ooh. Got the jet pack. I don't know why they keep including... These multi-language manufacturer detail information thing, nobody nobody cares. I don't know who that's made for. Anyway, so it comes with the blaster. Same blaster he came with last time. It's really cool. Nice little painted detail on the handle there. Not too elaborate, but it's, it's a nice gun. Put that down. He also comes with the magical rifle from hell that takes out Jawas from a distance. So cool. Even though I don't quite remember him using it much after after the planet where he went up against ATSD. I don't remember seeing this. Uh, I guess I have to watch The Mandalorian again. Third time's a charm. Uh, and then he comes with this. Not a whole lot of paint apps on it, but it's this really cool, uber cool jet pack. Super cool. Everything's super cool on this guy, so I'm just going to keep saying super cool like some kind of weirdo. All right, now to the figure himself. So, Beskar armor 
Mando. What a cool figure. Now, I don't know if you can tell the detail on here, but he does have, uh, let me get this position just right. He's got the uh, mud horn emblem up here. Can't really see it very well because this thing won't focus on it very well. But the mud horn symbol is there on his pauldron for he and his clan mate, the child. Um, I think he's, yeah, he's, he doesn't really have the head bob that the stormtrooper has. There's also no head underneath it. it. Looks as though it is just a sculpted head. So no revealing his bloodied identity. Um, but the detail on this thing is super cool. Super cool. Um, if you can tell, let me see. Ugh. Reach up here and get the old Mando figure. The old Mando figure. Let's compare the two side by side. Uh, bandolier strap is the same. Belt is the same. It actually looks... The bandolier and the belt strap on both figures uh, are the same mold, but the one on the new Beskar armor is a little lighter. It's not as dark brown as the, uh, as the other one, as the original. So let's see. What else is different here? He's got... Yeah, it's about it. The design of the legs is the same. Uh, he does have the newer leg guard here, thigh guard. Um, completely different sculpt from this one. So there's a lot of new sculpting detail on it. It's all shiny and new. It doesn't have all the scuff marks on everything. The helmet. Uh, helmet is also cleaner, but I don't remember him getting a new helmet. So maybe they just polished... The armor polished his helmet. Uh, so, yeah, that was inappropriate. Um, otherwise, it was just... Yeah, the, the knee guard is a little bit darker on the on the Beskar version. Um, everything else is kind of the same. Same sculpt, at least. Different colors on the pants. Darker brown on the... On the darker brown tunic and pants on the new Beskar armor. I don't remember him changing his underwear while he got his new armor, but cool. So you definitely get a difference in this figure. Uh, articulation is same, spot on. It's great. Got the uh, elbows. Don't quite bend as much as the Stormtrooper's elbows. Uh, knees are double jointed, as usual. So that's cool. Um, it's got a stomach. It's got his ab crunch going on there. So that's cool. Um, rocker ankles. Just love the articulation on these things. So, yeah, I am pretty freaking satisfied with this one. Uh, looks like we got to take his helmet off to put the, the jetpack on. Or not. This is embarrassing. <clears throat> okay. Helmet does not want to come off his head. So I'll just put the jetpack on. No, you got to take the jetpack. Oh, wait. I think it just kind of... Ah, there we go. It just goes over his head. Oh, very cool. Got the jetpack on right there. That's rad. Put the blaster in his hand. I was going to put it in the holster, but nah. Okay, now I need a couple of these things because if he needs his cloak off in order to get his backpack on, his jetpack on. And I'm going to need multiples just to display him in all of his different action poses. This thing is freaking nuts. This thing is super cool. Uh, that's a lame pose. So while I work on posing this bad boy out, uh, you guys can go out there and try and find this Mandalorian figure. Hmm. Hold that thought. And I'm back. Probably didn't even know I was gone. I am that engaging. Uh, so, yeah, these guys are starting to show up at Targets of all places. I'm sure they'll be everywhere else sooner than later, but uh, Target is currently the place to go to get them. Uh, and we all know, since we collect these Star Wars toys, that, or any toy for that matter, that there is a magical number 
the DCPI number for Target that will find you these, that will score you these magical figures. It's two uses of the word magical, I think, in just a minute. That's three. Uh, so here, grab a pen. I'll give you a second to get a pen. Cool. Uh, the DCPI number, kids, is 087-168467. So once again, that's 87 one six eight four six seven be nice to your target employees folks they're doing you a favor by going in the back and looking for these things i don't want to hear anybody complaining that their target employees are jerks they're just trying to do their jobs so with that being said that was the uh new black series stormtrooper this guy really cool and dinjarin the mandalorian even freaking cooler yeah, I'm going to need an army of these. Anyway, uh, yeah. Sarlacc Gi- Bleh, can't speak. Sarlacc Digest Podcast.com for all of your latest news and reviews, plus our podcasts. Podcasts are bi weekly. We are live on YouTube every other Wednesday. Uh, today, as I'm recording this, August 26th, we are recording tonight. This probably won't be online by then. You never know. Uh, but you know, just every two weeks after that, we've also got Chris returning Darth dad himself with Hoth topic. Uh, that is not on a recurring schedule. It's just whenever the hell he feels like recording. So, um, yeah, the newer friendlier Chris with Hoth topic is returning and man, he's got some great shows planned for you and a couple of really good ones that have dropped, dropped just recently. So, Give us a like, give us a thumbs up on the video, uh, follow us. We're on Instagram, uh, Sarlacc Digest, uh, our website, again, sarlaccdigestpodcast.com. We've also got the Sarlacc Digest Central on Facebook, which is where we all kind of congregate with our listeners and our friends and our families and just talk Star Wars. We try to keep it positive all the time. Uh, the world has enough negativity in it. We don't need to add negativity to the thing we love as we go along. So uh, you can also follow me directly on Instagram, the art of Scott Solo. Uh, there's an underscore in between each one of those words. So the underscore art, you get the idea. So the art of Scott Solo on Instagram, sarlaccdigestpodcast.com, Sarlacc Digest Central on Facebook, um, Hoth Topic, follow Hoth Topic. And yeah, that's it. So Good luck out there. Have fun searching out your figures. Be nice to the target employees. They don't have to do jack for you if they don't want to. And uh, keep it nerdy. Bye.